Good evening, James McHale with ABC News. Those stories shortly, but first tonight, West Australian public servants have voted to accept the state government's latest pay offer. ABC reporter Stephanie Dalzell joins me now at State Parliament. And Stephanie, good news for the government tonight. Yes, James, this is another win for the government and its hardline wages policy. Now, police and firefighters have already accepted the government's inflation-capped wage deals and now the community and public sector union's 40,000 members will receive a pay rise of 2.75% next year and then 2.5% each year for the following two years. Now, the union rejected the government's initial offer of 2.5% each year over three years but says... Given the government's hardline wages policy where public sector pay rises are to be capped at the rate of inflation, this was the best offer it was going to get. Our members have fought hard to improve this deal over a period of time and they've, got, they've had some success. That said, uh, we still don't believe that the Barnett government had to offer uh, pay increases that were in line with its projected CPI. We still think that they were inadequate uh, and that their new wages policy is unnecessarily restrictive. Commerce Minister Michael Mission says he's pleased with the deal and given that the CPSU has given in, the union movement effectively has fallen in line, which will no doubt leave the government feeling vindicated. Uh, Stephanie, uh, it seems at least that these uh, pay negotiations have been protracted. Uh, with this deal locked away, now how close is the government to having all of its wage negotiations finalised? It's close, but there's still one to go. The Human Services Union is the only union that has yet to accept a pay deal from the government. It's really proving to be a thorn in the government's side and is showing no signs of giving in on this issue. Now, the government has offered the HSU exactly what it's offered the other unions, but the HSU wants more. It wants 9% over two years. It says its members will strike next week if that pay deal isn't revised. So the government could have one...